Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, Thunder Chief building action. A little old school for you. Okay, I got my wing all glued up. I got my cloth on there, my four ounce cloth, and I got it trimmed. Okay, now I got me some of them scraps of carbon that uh, we had left from the, cutting these wings up. I'm going to put a couple layers in that duct right there. And uh, one more skinny piece of scrap here where this uh, gear door is. Right here. See, I'm trying to get this out of there. I don't want that floppy. I want that tough and to where it ain't going to come away from the fuselage, you know. And uh, so. That's just trial and error. You know, this is just some scrap carbon, and we're going to see if it does the trick. But uh, I bet you it does. <laughs> so I'm going to put that on under my phone. Now, Butch said that we probably didn't need to make these whole wings out of carbon that we could have used fiberglass and uh, just carboned up around the landing gear but um, you know but what the heck that's the only drag thing about scrapping that wing but is there a yard of carbon in there <laughs> But, I don't know. We'll see how this one turns out. And I'll talk to Paul, see what Paul thinks. Get my scissors. Get the string off here. So, uh, and like I was talking before, so all you really need to start a project like this is a plastic model. If uh, you want to go into it that deep and make it all yours and engineer it and build it and make it the way you want it, and go for it, man. I think we need, especially you young guys, can't they, what if them Chinese people get mad at us and no one knows how to build airplanes in 10 years? You know? Just can't depend on that other guy forever. <laughs> you know? And that's what these videos are for. So you won't have to depend on that other guy. I got these pieces of carbon cut pretty close, but same rule for that, and it's fiberglass, you gotta trim it when it's a little bit wet. Bam, there's that one, and let's go in here with this one. This is just where it meets the fuse. I don't want ever, I don't want that deforming. You know. You know I'm adding just virtually no weight. You know, tiny fractions. You know, it's in the low grams what I'm actually adding because I got to put resin on there anyway and all I'm really adding is the weight of the cloth plus a little bit of extra resin now that duck will be tough man no flutter and that's what I'm worried about 
about. You know, I don't want collapsing or just anything crazy. Hey everybody, he's probably still got just enough time to get one of them foamies from Camlax under your tree. That F-35 is awesome, man. I can't wait to go out and fly it again. <laughs> I let Paul fly it. Paul says, man, I gotta get me one. Said he's gonna order one when he got home. Whether he did or not, I do not know. Drop that five cell battery right on in that bad boy. <laughs> okay. Bam. That's done. I have no doubt that inlet is going to be like a hunk of steel now. Without adding that much weight. Just grams. my peel ply finish it won't delaminate and it'll just it'll be awesome okay bam that's done now we come in here with my spreader I got the notches in Two minutes left. Okay. See them notches? Now that was enough glue. I was kind of worried about it on that first swing. But we seen when I cut out them strips, that was plenty of glue. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I was kind of worried about it, to tell you the truth. And, uh, stuff stuck, man. Plus, this is kind of where that main spar's going to, you know, so if we didn't hurt nothing by doing that, I guarantee you. After I get this first set made, the next set will be better. You just learn. Every time you lay one up, you, you learn something, you know, and you learn how to make them better. Next one will be better. You know? And it's not that I'm after perfection. A super per perfectionist, you know. I just want what someone would expect when they order a composite jet. You know what I mean? Not that it's going to be museum quality, or you know. I just want a nice product. I don't want them treads on RC Universe. <laughs> Bob's jet explodes in air. Wings not tough enough. You know it'd be headline news on RCU too. 